Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Sunday fun day, and we're hanging out with some new units here, and these boys don't waste any time. Look at them. They're already into it. 15th Georgia coming in. Let's take a look at the units really quickly. On the Confederate side, 24th Georgia in mass. We've got Pickett's Brigade, 30th Virginia, a couple other Virginia units in there as well. 15th Georgia in mass, three on the Confederate side. We've got the Iron Brigade, Indiana troops, uh, Wisconsin troops in here. Uh, we've got the Pennsylvania Reserves as well as the 57th Virginia. So 3v3 action. And in the first battle, the Union was victorious. Second battle, Confederates coming out of the gate strong. And Captain Puka is taking his boys all the way up past the hanging tree and into the snake rail fence. How are the Union going to attack this position? If you're live on the stream, take a look at that mini-map. You can see the Union position. Uh, on that mini map and we can see exactly where they're moving and we can see it right here on the camera in the distance the union all of their forces going that way and let's follow them into combat and the confederates don't have a whole lot in the cornfield right now so we'll see if this union assault yeah, will be victorious sergeant jumpy the at the lead <laughs> and you can see this is the extreme right side of the union position And you can see the Union in mass. It's a whole damn Union army. Look at this shit. Lieutenant Big Max here. Trying to put an eyeball on the Confederates. He's wondering where they are. They're not here. They're on the other side. These boys, uh, these boys both threw haymakers at each other on the uh, opposite side. <laughs> uh, but you can see it's not the whole Confederate army up here. This is mainly 15th Georgia, 24th Georgia. It's our Georgia units. How's it going there, Bob? Hey, Bob. <laughs> 24th as well. You can see that. So the whole state of Georgia up here. That is awesome, man, to see all these new units. Uh, thank you to everybody here for letting me join. It is an absolute honor to watch you boys fight. You can see Union not really getting any real big hurry to go to the point of contention. It looks good. Actually. Don't really feel a need. They got a good defensive position. They're hoping the Confederates will come out to attack them, but really, the, they don't really need to. The Confederates are on defense. And the point of contention on this one is right here in these woods, right at the beginning of the East Woods. And this uh, this took place the night before the battle. Uh, some of Hood's men were uh, sent out here in the woods and uh, ran into Meade's men, I should say. Hooker sent some men out here under Meade. Uh, the, the Pennsylvania guys are actually part of this uh, whole outfit tonight. And they went out there in the woods, and there were some of those guys still out there in the woods the next morning uh, doing some skirmishing as well. And the Iron Brigade has moved all the way up. Here they come. They're through the cornfield, and they've held the corner. This is the hottest spot right here typically on this map. Uh, if the Union is strong enough to get this far back. Hey, Sergeant Bacon, I've seen him before. And this is the 6th Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Oh, my God. Well, there's fewer of them now. Although Corporal Smokey seemed to survive that somehow. A direct hit by artillery. But I believe that's Union artillery hitting their own men. But almost impossible for them to see at that distance. But if the Union stays in this position with any kind of force... <clears throat> they are going to take the point of contention. You see Colonel Pointless out here. Kind of looking for some resistance and not finding it. Oh, look at this huge Union push here that I'm totally missing. My God. The Pennsylvania. The reserves coming in with elements of the Iron Brigade. Clearing out the backwoods here of Confederate resistance. A great push. Hey, this is their historic uh, position. Slap a deer hide on your head and go kill some Rebs. And the Iron Brigade has given up this position. Let's see, we got Lieutenant Dude. He's abiding behind the tree. <clears throat> God, and Confederates all the way in the middle of the field. Look at this. 
15 Georgia not really fucking around. They they are way out behind the Union. So this is going to be a steady pain in the ass for the Union until they can push them out of those rocks. And that's going to be the job of the Iron Brigade. They've pulled back here. Pointless has got his guns on those rocks, but that's a good defensive position. And they're going to have to charge it out with the bayonet, I'm afraid. Don't know if you can do that work with the musket. But the Iron Brigade is large. If they can get some recruits down here, then get it done. <clears throat> but the 15th, uh, 15th Georgia, they got something to say about that. They're going to stop them if they can. Yeah, I can't see shit. Just fucking just set shots down range, buddy. I don't care where they're going. Let's get some cinematics here while the boys <laughs> try to kill each other. They can't hold their damn yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blowing it out the way down. <gasps> Mm, you see the rounds the coming round in and the suppression they cause. <gasps> Confederates doing their best to hold this spot under heavy fire. Rocks. Hi, how you doing? Have you heard about the Lord? Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Beep, beep. And here they are, coming in with the bayonet, 15th. Under the blade of the Iron Brigade, and there they go. They're running for it. Flagman <clears throat> trying to survive here That's to see another life. day. Rizgar trying to get out of there. Go, Corporal. Don't look back. You got a bunch of Yankees on your ass. Over the fence. Oh, he turned around. Oh, no. An ice lube. <laughs> Volunteer ice lube. Gave him the old one-two, didn't he? Yep. Two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> Oh, maybe you guys didn't realize what kind of idiot you invited to uh, stream your event, but I'm happy you did because I'm having a great time. So the Iron Brigade in the corner. This is another hot spot on this field. Pointless seems to find those, and he wants to defend it against any well, kind of the field attack the from the Confederates. So pretty exciting so far, but that blue line is bleeding away. you got to get out there in those trees. Or up in that corner like he had before. Keep up the fire, boys. But we're still early in the match. 35 minutes left to go. And you can see the Union. They've taken the rocks now. And the Confederates are trying to make a push back up toward the hanging tree. Hey, I got him. <laughs> you see him here in the field. The right this is your 24th Georgia. Oh, yeah, there's enemies to the right. You see the if you're on the right ground. side, you gotta cut the ground. And you see, it looks like the Iron Brigade going back to that uh, point there. <clears throat> Trying to keep that blue line coming their way. Pointless moving into the hottest zone. Trying to put his men in a good position, but it's a, uh, it's a scary one. It's a deadly one for sure. Real easy to get hit by attackers that you can't see in this position, but... What choice the man have? He's got to take this spot. Those are his orders. And you can see the uh, couple guys from Pickett's brigade holding this spot all by themselves. Captain Thanum. Was that second lieutenant? How do you say your name? Osrian? Sorry, man. I'm a moron. All right, so <clears throat> Iron Brigade moving off to the right. Going to try to get a flank on those pesky rebs. Without getting flanked themselves. And you can see the Confederates pretty uh, scattered out right now. They're coming back up to the point. Or, I'm sorry, to the hanging tree. And we've got some resistance, but the Confederates are pushing in hard. And the 57th Virginia going down under the blade of the 15th Georgia here. Bring it back, bring it back. And they've done it again. Beautiful work, boys. And you can see while they're high, high, uh, high fiving and slapping ass, we got more Confederates pushing in to the point. More pickets, boys. 30th Virginia holding the point of contention. Now, this is dangerous because that uh, Union artillery, all they have to do is uh, lob heavy volleys into that position. All right, you got the Pennsylvania Reserves coming out into the field one more time. They've done this earlier. And they got the Iron Brigade on their flank this time. 
It is an organized, coordinated attack. And the uh, Pickett's Brigade is getting hit by two sides. Here they come. You gonna chase me, boy? Get the fuck on the ground, boy. And the Union easily sweeping the position, but we got Pickett's boys coming from the point of contention here. But they still are onesie twosies, and we got a lot of Union in this position. And you hear the huzzah. That is the result of a coordinated attack. 32 minutes left, and the Confederates are engaged. So the Union, again, attackers have more tickets. They should be in the lead at this point of the battle. But that means that they are fighting the battle, and it is in their favor at this moment. 32 minutes left in the match. So what are the Confederates going to do? 15 Georgia on the fence, covering the field. Trying to keep it clear of Union reinforcements. You can see them coming. Oh, yeah. They see him too. Looks like they're heading for the rocks. Let's see when their hats come in. There you go. Boing, boing, boing. See their hats pop on in their backpacks. That's what you do when you uh, develop games to make sure that they'll play. You don't need to see that hat that far away. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, so the Union in deep in Confederate territory, man. The Iron Brigade and the Pennsylvania guys just kind of came out here and stuck a flag in the ground and said, this is our position. You can see the Iron Brigade holding it and pointless way out. I would consider this bulging out into the Confederate line, definitely behind the point of contention even. Uh, so strong, brave position. These Iron Brigade guys, they're living up to their name, man. So the question is, will when, when will the Confederates come in here and threaten this Iron Brigade in this position? Because right now, anybody coming to defend the point of contention is going to get gunned down on the flank. But you can see it's clear of both armies right now. And Confederates really concentrating on the right side of the field at this moment. They want to draw the Union in to a musket battle and kind of kill a bunch of them, get their, uh, get their morale down. Nice. And it's working. You can see they're engaged. So we're tied up. 30 minutes to go. Confederates getting it done with the rifle. And now they're on the move. Look at this. 15 Georgia coming off the fence, going straight for the point of contention. Captain Pucus, First Lieutenant Thog. Disregard. They have arrived. But they decided that uh, whoever they wanted to kill was not there anymore, and they're going to get the hell out of there. <laughs> 30 minutes to go. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, they got Union in the rocks. How many brave lads? See this 57 Virginia. <laughs> Ice Lube. That has got to be one of the greatest names. Actually, they're independent. Yeah, damn. Oh, you okay there, bud? Good. I think Paul's mentally broken. I, I think so too. I think Dude, he I, just, I, I, he I, just I, send it, send it up and over. All right, you heard it. Captain Pugas on the charge. They got the bayonet out. Let's go with them. See if we can't get a nice cinematic uh, shot here of this battle. And the Confederates have broken through. See the boys mixing it up. And 15 Georgia has done it. They wiped them clean. Wow. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They got in there, took them out, got out. Back in their original position. Uh, that looks uh, about as professional as you're going to get. So great job there, Captain. Captain Pucas with a great maneuver there. And the Confederates there, but not on the point of contention. The Union have vacated their spot in the woods, and the Confederates kind of backed up way back here. We've seen this kind of tactic before. But now they're on the move. Pickett's Brigade coming through. Second Lieutenant, what is that, President? <clears throat> Got him. I can't see the whole thing. Sorry, bro. Sergeant Riley. Right. 
Sergeant Harry. <laughs> They're coming through straight for the point of contention. Sprint PB. Right, boys. Right, boys. Get the left later. Kind of red. And the Pickett's Brigade not afraid to be at the hottest spot of the field. You can see that here. And they're continuing on past it toward the hanging tree. And the Union finally putting up some resistance on this side. The Confederates starting to melt away here, but the Union on a strong attack. And you'd note it, it's the Iron Brigade. But a lot of 24th Georgia and 15th Georgia on this fence line. I'm gonna get that some bitch. Iron or no, it's gonna be hard to break that line. Lots of Confederates here, at least twice as many. Oh, and here come the pickets. Picket Brigade flooding in. Coming in, looking like AP Hill. To the right, to the right. And wiping out the Union resistance on the Confederate right. <clears throat> Making it look easy. Uh, the Union still, again, pushing on the right hand side. They're sneaky, trying to get a sneak attack on them here. And they're going through the woods one more time, and it's your Pennsylvania volunteers or your, uh, um... Someone get that flag shit. on the left up. One again. Reserves. <laughs> Brain fart. Man, you can see they're running silent here, like a sub. Trying to sneak up on their enemy. All you can hear is the clanking of swords and the rustling of uniforms. And they're back to the logs. <clears throat> yep, not here for long. Resistance comes in strong and they get the hell out of here. And that resistance comes in the form of Pickett's Brigade. They've swung back over into the logs, defending this position, and the Pennsylvania have uh, fallen back. <laughs> So the Confederates playing pretty soft here, allowing the Union deep into their own territory. Both sides are engaged. 25 minutes left in the match. I think it's really concerned right now is getting the flags back. Well, look at all the dead bodies we got right here. We got a lot more. We don't fight TV in the woods. Guys, why do I hear Confederates in the woods? They're in the trees. Keep your eyes open northwest. I just want to die. You can see the boys waiting for another <coughs> Union assault. Don't know if it's going to come to them, though. And we got Confederates out here right on the corner. A couple of them, anyway. Behind those rocks. Big group. We can just plug them to the side. These are your scouts. Major Trader. Lieutenant Bobby G. And there's an Iron Brigade guy out here in the woods here. Corporal Lamb. And he doesn't know about those Confederates standing right beside him. There's nobody here, Yankee. You might as well leave. And it's about right. The Confederates, nope, they're still here. I was going to say they skedaddled, but Major Trader is still here. 30th Virginia. <clears throat> there goes Corporal Lamb across the street. And he's not even picked up by Major Trader, who's taking a shot the other way. And he's legging it down the road. All alone into the Confederate position. Let's go with him. Come on, Corporal. Leg it up. Leg it up. Let's go. <laughs> He's running right into the 15th Georgia. Oh, Star Killer. Oh my God, Star Killer, taking a point blank range shot. He's got a lot of friends up here. The Iron Brigade is already here in the 24th Georgia. So Lamb coming up and sneaking behind him. And you see the Iron Brigade pushing into the position, but we got more Confederate reinforcements coming this way. It'll get hot and heavy again at the top of the hill. God, what a beautiful game. Well, you hear it. That's a huzzah. That means the Confederates are now taking losses and more Union pouring into the position. Thanks, you can see Big Max right, there, pointless, the both doing it with the pistol. There's Sergeant Bacon. The the All right, so they were able to do it.
took the position, so the Union in control of the left, but both sides are taking losses. This is a nail-biter right to the end, 23 minutes left to go, and it really comes down to uh, when are they going to decide to try to take this point of contention away from the uh, Confederates. You can see the Union artillery coming in, trying to keep that place clear of Confederates at this point of the match. And Union's still on the move here. And you can see Confederates actually coming out in the field, going to challenge this position from the rocks. So let's take a look at the Confederate position. Looks like they're starting to abandon it. And that's your 15th Georgia, 24th Georgia as well. Oh, shit. Okay. So the 15th coming in to the point of contention now, which they already hold, 22 minutes left to go. And they're looking for Union resistance, and they didn't find any. Oh, okay. But I believe they will before too long. You see we got a nice group of the 15th out here as well. So everybody scattered out, kind of waiting for the uh, last few minutes of the match. And if the Union is forced to make an attack from the top of the hill, they will probably do it down the fence line, coming down this way and attacking straight along the corn and coming into this uh, position that the Iron Brigade loves so much that right now the Georgia are uh, holding this position. Whoa, shit. Ha, you got shot, nerd. You got shot, nerd. <laughs> So we'll hang out with the boys in the Confederate Army here for a minute. But you can see some of those guys are moving off here. And we've got Union on the corner, so here they come. Iron Brigade in the van. Ooh, artillery coming in. And you can see 15th Georgia, elements of the picket boys up here. Oh, God. Brutal fighting, up close and personal. Uh, speaking about up close and personal. Oh, my God, did you see that ragdoll? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. So, first Sergeant Miller. Oh, dude, that guy got shot right in the balls. Holy shit, that sucks. We got two CSAs in the corn. And this poor bastard's just been dead on this fence like the whole game. Oh, uh, they did. Oh, uh, they red. No. So the Iron Brigade in this position, they don't have a lot of men with them, though. They're going to have to get reinforced if they're going to hold this. And you can see the Confederates just flooding into the point. But this is going to get real dangerous as artillery that is honed into this position is going to start opening up on these Confederates. And Pickett's Brigade in a lot of danger here. Find some cover, boys. You see the Union pushing more troops into the point here. Iron Brigade in mass. And they're formed up in an L. Colonel Pointless going to go over with the pistol and do it himself. A little reconnaissance is how Stonewall got killed. Coming back to his line in the dark. We'll go with the Colonel. Oh, you hear the huzzah. Confederates are now breaking. It's all or nothing now. The Union have the opportunity to take the point of contention and win this match and there start your shelling and the confederates in grave danger of losing this match right now 18 minutes left to go and the 15th georgia doing what they can to hold this position against a heavy heavy union attack and you can see it's two pronged they've got guys in the stones as well here 57th virginia as well as units back here, these are your Pennsylvania reserves. So the Union coming in with a echelon style attack. Pretty effective, and here they come with the bayonet. 
You see the charge is on. Iron Brigade in the van. And Colonel Pointless, Major Ranger, they're here first. And they're going to fight like off to the 15th stand? Georgia. Oh, my God. That was a fucking execution. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Starkiller. Taking it hard in the head. Get on the tree truck. Here, right here, right here, right here. Right and down, the Union down, flooding down. in. They want that point of contention. They're taking losses. But they are here, Iron Brigade, on the point of contention, and you can see the red line bleeding away. And more Union flooding in from the flank, Pennsylvania. And they're going to hit the Confederates here. So as the Confederates should be taking a deep breath for a counterattack, they get attacked again. But on the left flank, the 15th Georgia, trying to come around, get in behind the Union. Iron Brigade in the rocks. South Club, South. And we'll hang out with them. Oh. 17 minutes left to go in the match. We're about to get a counterattack. This is it. This would be the match. Oh, you can see the Confederates coming into the position. They cannot allow the Union to take this spot or they will lose the match. <clears throat> and the Iron Brigade withstanding a great assault. But there's more coming in. 15th Georgia. Last stand for the Confederates now. The Union in a massive, massive position here. They've got the momentum, and the Georgians know it. Doing what they can at that spot. But it may be too little too late. Oh, no, more Confederates streaming in. You can see they just do not want to give up this position. And the Union, if not reinforced, they're going to be completely gone. Second Lieutenant Alaska doing it with a sword like a serial killer. But he's going to have to do it to two of them. And he couldn't get it done. Sergeant slays. Well, he slays. And there you go. So the Confederates fought them off, but they are taking losses. It might be a matter of time. They're really going to have to kill a lot of Yankees here to get back in control of this map. Fifteen minutes left. We got one private from the 7 Wisconsin bursting out of the Confederate line and running up to the point of contention, getting stabbed in the back. Sergeant Miller slays is slaying them all. Colonel Pearl coming out here, and we get the Union now breaking. So if the Confederates can force the Union into a final push, they might have an opportunity here. They still do have 15 minutes left in this match. As long as they don't lose their reinforcements, they'll be okay. Use this fucking tree, Use that shit. And Captain Bosif has taken that to heart. Use that tree, that is for sure. So the Union taking a, a big... Big gulp of air before they charge into the point of contention again. Said they are breaking, but it, I think the longer they stay here on this fence, the worse it's going to get for the Union. They just need to group up and get that get that shit done. I mean, <clears throat> easier for me to say. You can see Sergeant Jumpy, Private Wrath over here, trying to get an angle. You can see Confederate flag still laying on the dirt, and oh my God, Union coming in, getting shot dead. 15th Georgia. Captain Pucas doing the honors. And we are on the point of contention with 14 minutes left to go. Last stand, and the Union is breaking. <clears throat> Could be anybody's game, but I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be leaning toward the Union at this point with 13 minutes left. Confederates are going to have to figure out how to toughen up this line. You can see it might be too late. All of the Union already here. Pennsylvania Reserves and the Iron Brigade flooding in to the point of contention. 57th is here as well. And the whole Union Army hitting the point of contention with 13 minutes left in the match. And the Confederates are going to have to do the same if they have any chance to withstand this attack. And you can see the Union not stopping at the point. They are flooding through. Finding Confederates and trying to kill them. Sergeant Slays coming back out with the bayonet, doing it again. This man is a damn killer. Oh, he finally goes down. 
<clears throat> I hear somebody vigorously clicking their mouse. <laughs> oh, shit. So the Iron Brigade going through the woods, just uh, stabbing people. But 30th Virginia still here. Sergeant Mandem. Get out there. Oh, he sees the flag man. Coming this way. Nope, missed him. Hit the tree instead. But the Union's here, and that red line is going away. Confederates have got to be concerned now. There's not a lot of Union here, though. So they do have an opportunity to right easily there. wipe the Union off this field. One more. He's going but they got to do it, and they got to do it now. West. Get your, get your loads in, guys. Get your loads in. We're the only buddy here. Make sure you got buck and ball in. Yeah, we'll see what the Union can do here. Surprised there's any of them left. Yeah, that's the thing. With the last stand, the Confederates, I don't believe they get reinforced, so this is probably the end of the match right here. It's Rambo time. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a valiant effort, uh, but the Union has really done a great job with Sunday Fun Day. And my first week into the to the new group here. I appreciate all of you guys for letting me be here. What a great couple battles. And this one is looking like it's pretty much over at this point. And there we have it. Another Union victory. Well, congratulations to the Union side there. And really to everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, you'll find we have a community of people. Like I said, we don't buy subs. We don't buy views. We're doing this for real. So come hang out with us. Uh, we A lot of historical nuts, like I'm sure that you guys are too. Come hang out with us. Watch the fun. Chill out on YouTube with us. And uh, this will come out next week. So appreciate you guys. We'll listen to the aftermath. After their victory at South Mountain, Union General McClellan with his Army of the Potomac was close on the heels of Confederate Generals Longstreet and Hill as they quickly retreated across Antietam Creek to set up a defensive line. After Union General Hooker crossed with the First Corps, it was up to two regiments of Pennsylvanians to find and probe Lee's vulnerable left flank. When darkness finally ended the brief skirmish, Union troops had pushed the Confederate forces away from the East Woods, but both armies could barely sleep as skirmishing fire continued throughout the night. As the next morning dawned, however, the Confederate and Union troops stirred from their slumber for the action to come. The unending skirmish fire erupted. Hey, Hardy, I agree, man. These guys are fun to watch. Of infantry Had a great and batteries time. of artillery added to the cacophony. Cacophony. Just west of the East Woods lies cacophony. the cornfield owned by the Miller family. And by 6 o'clock on the morning of the 17th, the veteran troops of the Union Iron Brigade would advance from the North Woods and through the cornfield into the open fields to their south right into a withering fire. Well, boys and girls, that is it for the night. I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me and watching these awesome battles. If you like that, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Join a winning team. We're uh, doing this the right way over here. <laughs> and we're trying to grow the game, and we're trying to grow your regiments through um, uh, recruitment. So, man, if, if you guys, if you're new to this game, you're just watching this game for the first time, uh, if you want to reach out to any of these fine units, I can uh, hook you up and get you into uh, the leadership to those guys and just say hello, and I'm sure they'd be happy to hear from you. So from uh, from them and from me, welcome. And uh, from me, welcome to the channel, guys. All of you, I really appreciate you being here. All right, until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>